breaking news and the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. You're watching Local 12. Good morning, Cincinnati on Local 12.2. It's time to start heading outside now that it's starting to get warmer. That also means, though, we're exposed to health risks that we haven't seen in months. Local 12's Liz Bonus has the latest on lowering these risks. When it comes to things that can put you in danger or make you sick in the summer months, pool safety concerns top the list. It's also the reason Julie Donovan started her son Aiden in swim lessons. He's just five. He's done quite well for it being a year now. So, and so I had this little one my three-year-old starting so we can keep up with his big brother. <laughs> the YMCA is offering free water safety classes to all kids this week. The goal is to lower the odds of drownings, which are now the leading cause of death in children under age 14. The classes are part of a program called Splash. It's a water safety instruction program. They learn about basic pool safety, backyard safety, beach safety, and boating safety. Second thing most likely to make you sick, that lovely bacteria we call E. coli. Well, hand washing is your best defense. Summer grilling season, of course, puts you at prime risk. So it's the meat, it's the temperature, and of course, it's how you cook it on the grill that makes the biggest difference in reducing odds of getting sick from this bacteria. New grilling guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control say cook foods all the way through and don't put cooked foods on the same plate as raw to avoid cross-contamination. Finally, third summer health hazard, bug bites. Protecting against mosquitoes lowers the odds of West Nile virus. Liz Bonus, Local 12. If you'd like to take one of those free water safety classes at the YMCA that Liz just told you about this week, you can call 513-362-YMCA or you can go to local12.com to get more information. A tri-state judge found dead just hours after his second DUI arrest. And tonight, the coroner says empty prescription bottles were found inside the judge's home. News 5's Karen Johnson checking in tonight with our number four story. Karen? And Ken, no official ruling yet, but all signs do point to suicide. Investigators found those bottles and a note. Now here at the courthouse in Warren County, flags are at half staff as coworkers focus on the good Judge Heath did for Warren County. A somber day inside the Common Police Courthouse. Judge James Heath's chair empty. That's the way coworkers and friends say they're feeling right now. The general mood is, is obviously sadness but uncertainty. Whoever takes this seat will have big shoes to fill. It was Judge Heath who helped make the GPS monitoring system a success here in Warren County. He was also instrumental in creating the mobile drug unit so offenders couldn't skip out on court-ordered drug tests. The judge brought a lot of resources and a lot of new innovative ideas into uh, Warren County. And he brought a lot of laughs here as well. He always had a smile on his face. At the Countryside YMCA, Judge Heath was known simply as Jim. This is where he spent most of his lunch hours. And I was kind of looking for him and um, I'm so sorry to say that he won't be in today. Roz Williams just waited on him last week. The last conversation we had, he was saying, I'll be calling you to bring us some lunches, you know, and think so. Yes, I will miss him a lot. And back here at the courthouse, Heath's cases are being divided up between the other two judges for this week. A visiting judge should be here by Monday. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, News 5.